welcome to lnp redable system data today we are going to look about uh, ship automation okay so this part we had classified into 22 parts okay come let's get into the part one so in the first part what are you are going to discuss so we are going to discuss how to read uh, electrical diagrams okay what are the things in depth we are going to discuss in the electrical diagrams how to do the equipment marking in the diagrams okay how to read the electrical equipments how to locate an item in the schematic diagram and how to represent using the block diagram how wiring and conductor numbering is done in the diagram and how to create link break identifiers in the diagram and how cable diagram and cable references made in the diagram and what are the different methods of wiring how to mention a technical data and type designation in the drawing okay so when we get into the our topic in our discussions we might be using so many abbreviations and the short forms so and symbols also if you have any doubt regarding it kindly please refer to this part so these are the short forms and symbols that we are often using in all our 22 parts so in all the parts we had given the abbreviations if you have any doubt regarding the symbols you can refer to this part so here we had given regarding the ammeters voltmeters resistors uh, sensors like that uh, you know we had given for all okay first and the foremost thing how we are going to do marking and designations so for the marking the most important thing is that first we need to identify the plant so plant identification is very much important what plant it is okay it can be a that there might be a some building name okay so for example we were working with two projects headquarters project and strategic study centers so normally we used to start anything with the hq means it is headquarter example okay if it is a ssc that is strategic study center so it is the plant identification next is the location so location of the item is very uh, very important because you might be working in a building where it has so many locations so many floors so you need to be pretty clear about the location okay whether it is a concourse level or it is a you know a grade level okay or whether it is a ground level or whether it's a first floor or a second floor or 13th floor so those things you need to mention in the location next is the type of item what type of item it is okay next is the number because in uh, same type of item there are multiple number of items present can there is a possibility for multiple number of items to present in a building so for example it doesn't mean that only one sensor will be present uh, or only one pressure sensor or only one temperature sensor that will be present in the building there are multiple there is a possibility for multiple temperature sensors multiple pressure sensors to present in an industry okay in a building so then we need to differentiate them with the numbering so the numbering of the item is very much important next is the function so what sort of function is going to do whether it is doing a monitoring function or whether it is doing any controlling function whether it is doing a heating function whether it is doing a cooling function so those things we need to mention so the function type is very much important and very last okay we need to mention the terminal and the conductor marking so what is the terminal number so this is how basically the marking and designation is done on the equipment marking of the diagram okay as you can see we have a diagram plot outline on, a, on your right hand side this is an example okay where we have um, you know block outline we will have a drawing number we have identification number okay we will have a sheet numbers so all these things will be there in the diagram block outline this is a entire overview of a uh, drawing or the diagram especially the single line circuit diagram see here what how many things are there we have a diagram sections okay we have a diagram segments we have a diagram squares we have a line break continuations we have a terminal numbers okay we have a relay type we have a uh, terminal numbers we have a function group we have a sheet number okay and we are mentioning the number of sheets we have a line break we have a line break continuation so like this so many things will be present in the drawing so we are going to understand each and everything which is getting discussed which is essential to draw any sort of diagram to create any sort of new diagrams okay next is the electrical equipment representation so mostly electrical equipments are represented using the contacts okay some might be operatable some might be non operatable position okay mostly it will be in the no contact that is normally open contact and normally close contact okay unless and until there are some rules based on that the representation will be provided for those things next is how to locate an item in the schematic diagram that is very important because in a drawing okay we might have a sheet number okay 
but each sheet number has been subdivided into sections it can be horizontally represented from 0 to 1 or vertically as a b c d e like this say for example we have a diagram section segment reference here we had given an example first is that we need to have a qualifying symbol next plant identification block should be there then we need to have a separating sign then sheet number then again a separating sign then sheet se uh, section last we need to have a sheet segment next if you are planning to draw any sort of a block diagram the most uh, in general the, we, are, we are going to give you a general overview of an entire plan then you need to have a, a terminal set controller details okay then we need to know the terminal set remote indicators we need to know the terminal set safety systems and what is the power supply which is required for the controller to work so we need to mention the power supply okay then we need to have a terminal set uh, engine that is most important so in, if you're going planning for a block diagram all these things should be there Next is the how to represent wire and conductor numbering. See here, it is very important for the electrical equipment in a circuit, which are you know connected accurately by using the cables with the correct voltage and the polarity. Okay, if anything change, then there is an issue. So for that, we need a wiring reference. So in that wiring reference, we need to have a conductor reference. We need to have a terminal reference. Those are very much important whenever you are making a wiring and conductor numbering. Next is the line break references. So why we need to go for a line break references? Because we might not get a chance to complete a single diagram or a entire circuitry or continuation of a diagram in a single page. We might get need to uh, continue in the next drawing. So in such occasions, we might be using this line break references. So this is an example we are given here. See here. Uh, this is an example of a line break identifier in the A diagram. So we have a terminal. Okay, still we have a continuation with that circuit, but we don't have a play a space to uh, locate the same or uh, draw the same drawing in that location. So what we are going to do? We are going to shifting that in a, another drawing, but there we need to represent. Okay, where we go break it and what is the continuation of it? So those things, both the things we need to mention. Okay, and this is an example of a complete equipment representation. How to represent the complete equipments? It can be a relay or it can be a plan. How to represent this is a basic example we had given here. Next, most importantly, uh, we need to draw a cable reference tables. That is very much important. Okay, and we need to highlight the cable cords in it. Okay, we need to mention the terminal number, link, uh, this uh, destination symbol, where we are connecting to. Okay, what is the cable marking? What is the, you know, cable size we are going to use? So, all these things we need to mention in the cable reference table. Next, what is the method of wiring we can do? So, this is an uh, example we had given here. Okay, mostly for electrical diagram, we might be using the single line diagram. Okay, so but this is how we need to represent. A is an example connector joined together. Okay, V is also an example of how we need to connect the two conductors if they if they, if it is joined. Next, uh, in the C diagram, conductor one is joined with the conductor fifty one while the conductor two is passing by it. Okay, and uh, diagram D, which is a lead runs in harness B. Okay, unmarked leads running other harnesses. It means those marked one is are running in the B. Okay. Next, uh, conductors twisted together, often represented like this. Okay. Next is the technical data and the type. That is very much important. Okay. We had shown some of the sample here. Okay. So if you are representing any sort of uh, equipment, so we need to uh, mention them like this pretty clearly okay this uh, technical data identification if you're going for a motors this is how we need to represent okay so in a, so, so many different ways we can represent technical data identification but only these three things we need to follow okay thank you so much please subscribe and press up like and if you want to know more and learn more you can contact us we had provided the contact details here we are providing you know plc programming which is very much important and essential for working in automation industry especially it can be a, a metro automation or it can be a building automation it can be a ship automation okay you need to know how to program plcs so we are giving you a training for siemens allen broadly and delta plcs and if you are really plan to work in the gcc countries like qatar oman saudi dubai we are providing training in building management system and building automation control system and if you had a plan to establish 
okay dc light system in the location where eb power is not available then you can contact us we can provide you those services and if you had a agriculture farms you want to protect your crops from the animal instead of going for electric fencing you can use solar fencing so we are providing solar fencing at, as a kit we are also providing solar on grid off grid hybrid application solar street lights solar pump services design installation testing and commissioning consultancy and training supports and if you had a plan to know the basics of access control system and electrical vehicle ship automation then you can contact us we are also providing training on it so we have provided a contact details here. Thank you so much.